Hello, my name is Wade Nomura, and this is Rotary Serving Our Community. There are over 34,000 Rotary Clubs around the world. In our district itself, which is uh, Ventura, Santa Barbara, San Luis, and Kern County, we have 74 clubs. Of all of those clubs we take a look at, we have a uh, rare opportunity to see those best clubs come forward. And with us today, we're going to be taking a look at two of the best clubs, Cayucas um, Sun Seaside and also Cambria Club. And with us today, we have Joan Broadhurst from Cambria, and we have Donna Archer from Cayuca Seaside. So welcome, both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for joining us. Um, by the way, with the camera shots, we got these monster uh, <laughs> awards going here, and this is one of the awards that you get, you get to keep for at least a year. I say at least because you could also get your name on there again. We're next planning year, on right? keeping ours, <laughs> yes. Good for you. So we're going to start with you, Donna. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, um, I'm a Californian girl, and uh, my background is healthcare, both uh, civilian and did, as a civilian and as, as a veteran. And um, so I'm just thrilled to to be here, and it's been a this Rotary experience. It's been a great experience. So great, great. Thank you. And um, what got you into Rotary? Well, well, got another good Rotarian, <laughs> and I had just retired, and I was like, what was I going to do? And uh, so she would pick me up at 6.30 in the morning on the street and pick me <laughs> up and uh, take me to Cayucas. Great. So, yes, right. and so it's, and it took me a while to join. I love the people. And, uh, but then, you know, they found, they got to me and here I am. Great. It's Good been a you. great experience. Good. How about you, John? Well, I originally was asked to join Rotary and it was years ago when I first moved to Cambria. And I went in and I still had children at home and I thought, whoa, this, this is, they're, they're finding you money for your birthday. I thought, I, you know, <laughs> this, is, this may not be the club for me. And I, later though, when both my boys went off to college, a friend came, she says, you've got to join Rotary, Carol Blandy. And I said, all right, I'll give it a try. And it's, I've never looked back since, it was wonderful. And uh, as far as where I was born, I was born in Los Angeles okay. and uh, grew up in, Los Angeles, Orange County, and then in 1993 moved to Cambria and been a practicing attorney for 45 years. Great. Yeah. Good for both of you on this one. So um, the size of your club, Joan, how, how many members do you have in your club? Well, we have 74 wow. right now. Good size so club. we've grown since I've been a member for sure. Yeah. So it's wonderful. I think we took in eight new members uh, the year that I was president last year. Good for you. Yeah, uh, that's great. outstanding. It was wonderful. <laughs> How about you, Donna? Well, we started out with 16, and at the end of my year, we had 21, wow. so we grew. Another good growth. And yes, yeah. it's, so it was great. It, it seems like successful clubs, having good presidents, good programs, good everything, attracts the members. And so that's one of the reasons why the benefit of a, big, uh, a good club or a best club is that you actually get more members anyways, regardless. It just works out that way. Now, both of you brought some pictures. We're going to jump into those, and I'm going to start with the uh, set from Cayucas. It's, these pictures are, by the way, are great overviews of your years, so we're going to jump into this one. With you then, Donna, first, uh, the first picture we have is a picture of, it looks like a float, I believe. This is our float. It's 4th of July. We are a major participant. Cayucas is one of the last places that still has fireworks, and thousands come to that community, 4th of July. And here we are, this is some of our members, and one of them, I'm yours truly here in the middle, and we have our Sherry Sim, who is our charter member, and then also the other one is a Carol Furtada, and she was the president of the Morro Bay Club. Great, okay, good. Next picture. So, next picture is um, being a, a veteran and honoring, I'm into honoring veterans, as, well, as our club is, and so what I, I did as president is I honored and gave blankets with their, whatever their, um, whatever service, part of the service, whether it was Air Force, Army, and I honored them by providing them, giving them a blanket. Nice. So, and gave talk about my story. Very so. nice. Next picture is a collage. Next picture is a collage. This, we are, it is our Lost at Sea uh, on May 30th. I mean, it's always uh, Memorial Day. Okay. And we are a major sponsor. And, uh, and it's a very uh, meaningful uh, ceremony 
people, it's not only people, military that's been lost at sea, it's been fishermen, mm -hmm. civilians that have been lost at sea. And it's a very touching ceremony that people come from all over for, again, on a holiday. Very nice. So. nice. And then the next picture um, looks like a cleanup crew, actually. The next actually. picture, this was uh, the beginning of, at beginning of my year, 4th of July, and it was a district cleanup. And our district governor, Jim Bell, was there. And we just had a mar and we, the pier was closed, but we were able to go out on part of the pier and we cleaned up the whole community wow. after, it was July the 5th after our big 4th of July celebration. Great. And you actually had the governor come up and help you guys out with Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Wow, I'm impressed. He, he, it pretty, was, pretty rough getting the guy to do cleanups, I've heard, <laughs> but good for him. He was great. Just kidding, Jim, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> and next picture? Our next picture is we are supporting, it used to be canine, uh, canines, and we have a group, actually Gil Englehart in our club, and um, Paws for a Cause now, and we very much support that. And again, it's providing dogs for veterans, um, post-traumatic stress disorder, and as we know, the suicide rate is high for veterans and so again we are a support oh, we great. pause for a cause this is a very major part of our club nice. with one of our members good the next picture here that you'll be seeing is a group of us and we again we support interact and this was at a, a major oh. fundraiser for interact interact being uh, high school students. high school students um, in Morrow Bay okay and we are made we became a sponsor for them now, you work with the other clubs on that then in the area, Morrow Bay, for example? Morrow Bay and other clubs all support the Interact Club there. Got it. And actually, this year, uh, we're going to start a club with our school there in Cayucas. Oh, so nice. that's what's on the upcoming scene. Right. Okay. And I do remember that uh, Morrow Bay Club was actually chartered 11 and 12, if I recall, because I was actually at that chartering. And they had like 90 something students. Yes, I'm not sure that what. One. It was huge. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> Very good. Next picture we have is. This is one of our major fundraisers, and a couple of our gentlemen. Um, I'm not sure exactly who came up with the idea, but it's our golf cart. And we raised, we sold 350 tickets okay. at $100 each. There was a drawing, and it's at. Uh, Christmas in Cayucas, the first, uh, first or second Saturday in Cayucas. And we did so well that we have another one for this year. <laughs> so it's been a really fun, fun event and, uh, in the community. And that's a nice looking golf cart. So this is a four seater. The mm -hmm. one we have now is a six seater. Oh, the, wow. Okay. So, cool. and that drawing will be December the 10th, $100. $100. I have to look into that one. There you go. <laughs> next picture, backpack. The next picture, and we have, uh, I don't, we, this is about our third year now that we've done it, but backpacks for the school students. So we buy backpacks and we supply them with school supplies, and then they're given out to students that need them in the school. Oh, okay. And the school is one of our major beneficiaries for the Cayucas Club. Okay, great. Okay. Next picture again is another uh, collage picture. It's a collage, and again, it's our district governor at that time last year, um, Jim Bell, and we became a hundred percent Paul Harris Club. That's great. And so, anyway, that was a fun, a fun experience mm -hmm. to have. So nice. every member. Yes. Now, tell us where you meet at. We're meeting now, uh, we've changed our venue, and we're now at the Cayuca School, elementary oh, school, okay. and we have, they provide us breakfast. It's been, the breakfast has been really great. It's a little, and we're not pushed to get out of right. there, like in a restaurant that opens up at right. eight o'clock. So right. we have a little more flexibility in terms of time. So it's worked out very well. I noticed that, it's a good partnership also. They, they work quite well with you and they- They're our it's, beneficiary, it's, They've, it's been a very mutual that thing. That is great, yes. that is great. Thanks. Okay, next picture. Next picture, real brief, we'll keep it brief here. <laughs> this was an our Sherry Sim who went, attended the um, International in Seoul, Korea. 
And then the other next two pictures that you see here is Masquerade, our Masquerade Ball, which is our main fundraiser. Um, we have great auction items, great dessert items. A great auction poster, item. by the way, too. <laughs> and a, a great poster. poster. And yeah. it's always the third Saturday of March. Okay. And it, again, it was it's at the school. Oh, it's been at the school for the it, it so that's worked out well. So the picture following that is actually probably the the party itself, the the masquerade ball there. That's actually the mask. Yes, correct. Nice. And that's actually uh, Dan and Linda Costley, and he's now the president this year of our Morrow Bay Club. Okay, so. good. And, and the last picture. The you last have there. picture here we have is a group of students. I'd like to tell share about this that came from the coast, some of these students, believe it or not, had never been to the beach. Wow. And so okay. they came and when they joined with our group of students from the school as a beach cleanup. And then our club, we provided them breakfast, or we know we provided them pizza, and we also provided them bags sponsored by Paws for a Cause. And it had again goodies in it, and they were. It was a. It was a great day. It was just a really great day for them. Now, so. before uh, before we both forget, um, you showed one picture here with uh, Sherry Sim and Hambach from Korea, but I believe your club also participated in an NID. Oh, Korea I would already. thank you, thank you yeah. for, yes, for National Immunization Day, and we sent um, the club raised funds to help, not to totally, but partially to send James Molnar, and he went on a, the NID to, um, it was in February, and... Uh, that would be to India then? To India, okay. yes. Okay, yes. great. Outstanding. So, it's been, it was a great year, great people, <laughs> some very, it's been great. And, and, I, and very impressive too, by the way, you, you get to... Uh, Hang on to this for a while. Yes. I, I like that. And you have a few. Well, I just these are, there. We've I see. got the gold distinct, best small club, which is what this represents. Nice. nice. Uh, one in membership. Okay. And then the one at gold distinction. Got the it. gold. Now so, you're not going to put that on your banner, your club banner. Or we, those will. Go on there? we will. <laughs> okay. We will. We will. Good for you. And we start our meet new meetings now with this. I, with I like that. that okay. Note. There we go. <laughs> Good. Got my attention, by the way. <laughs> Thank you very much. Joan, we're going to jump to you. Uh, you're going right. to tell us a little bit about Cambria. And, and again, you brought some photos also. Thank you for I doing did. that. And we'd love be. to do a walkthrough of, of uh, your club. Great. First one we have is a picture of? Well, this is a smoothie booth. And every okay. 4th of July, there's a picnic that's out at our uh, local park, Chamel Park, where we have the bandstand that was created years ago by Rotary. And it's truly an old-fashioned... Fourth of July, and at one of the one of the things that we do is we as a fundraiser, but I say fundraiser too, <laughs> because we we have uh, smoothies and uh, strawberry sundaes, and we are there all day and and participate by selling everybody that comes to the um, uh, Fourth of July party there and make a little bit of profit nice. in the meantime. Very so, nice, great, yes. Good for you. And then the next picture we have is a, a canopy picture, probably another festival or something. It is. This is um, this is where they have a chili cook-off, they have a car oh. show, mm -hmm. and we have the beer booth. So we do pretty well. Hot food in the hot days, and, and I think this is on Labor Day, frankly. Okay. It, it used to be on a specific holiday. I think now it's called the chili cook-off. So, okay. <laughs> uh, But we have nice cold beer and... and uh, People come by and again get to know Rotary. So now is that okay. down by the uh, community center, the it's, Bowling Greens? No, no. Yes, yes, it is. Okay. It's it's not the community center, but it's actually with the uh, vets hall okay. there. Okay. Many of our uh, activities are handled there. Right. right. So. Okay. Great. Next picture you have. Well, this is a bake sale. We too oh. have a wonderful Rotary act. And every year, um, Valentine's Day, the meeting closest to Valentine's Day, okay. all the Rotaract brings cakes and cupcakes and so forth and so on. And then our members are there, and it's our way of donating to, to them. But we bid on cakes, a cake that costs $2,000 once, oh, as really? high as that. And everybody wow. joins in, and $100 a cupcake, and, and it's just... 
it, it's fun for them. It's amazing to see, <laughs> and our, our members are wonderful in their donations. So, so that's, if you get what you pay for, that's a pretty good piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, they, our Rotaract is outstanding. They oh, do so many things. In fact, as president, I, I wanted to see what fields they were touching because they were things that we as Rotary wanted to do as well. Good. So Very good. They're, they're outstanding. Good, good. Mm. Next picture we have is a picture of a... Looks like a, some some sort of event there. If you well, tell us about it, I don't know that it's it, it just typifies the saying that we have, and I meant to bring you a pen that says, "If it ain't fun, it ain't Rotary." <laughs> and okay. our past president Patrick Hampton right. started that, and we do. I mean, these are hardworking, in, inventive, and wonderful people, but we do know how to laugh and have a good time. You, and you definitely have a good time. I, I, I can attest to that. I know. And our fine master, Rick Lowe, I think is is, yeah, is yeah. the pivotal part of all that. So he keeps us, he, he could go and stand up, I think. But <laughs> and it's your club look is meet, meeting where now? Where's we we meet at the lodge, okay. uh, the Cambria Lodge, okay. and at noon. Okay. So Perfect. we've been there quite a while. Good. Next picture is? Well, this is an orientation, and there's several people around you don't see. Rick Lowe is sitting there. Let's see. Uh, we're uh, bringing in Otis, who is unbelievably fantastic. He is the new sergeant-at-arms. Okay. He puts a new hat on every day. He's, <laughs> uh, he just, he's got so much energy. He will be a president soon, I'm sure. Okay. So this is just, uh, we have our orientations in a home. Uh, last year, the secretary um, Roger Robinson and his wife Sue were the hosts, so we'd go over there, and I think at this one we had at least thirty people, so wow. it was a crowd. And so this is a picture, of, um, the one with, in front of the fireplace, then with a, a group there, or which? Well, one? there's a it's a big room that we only oh, just got. Gotcha. We're not good at taking pictures. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> we really aren't. Are getting publicity out there, okay. but so this was. Um, at somebody's home, mm -hmm. and I think he's the second guy in there, kind of leaning forward. Okay, and that's that's one of our newer members, Otis. So oh, okay, Great. and he, he's jumped. He he's been a member since he wasn't a member. He's been <laughs> so involved. Great, good yes. to hear. Next picture is. These are children at the grammar school, and my emphasis this year was children. I just I think you know I could sing the song. They're the our future or something, but at, we have a wonderful community where we can get to know these children. And this is called the Peace Council, and myself and, and the head of, um, oh, I forget what com committee, community committee went with me, Marianne Carson, and we went to the school and witnessed it, and it is awe-inspiring. So once a week, these children come up, there's several that are voted the leaders, etc., and so then they I said, this has to come before our club. So it did. And they brought their banner and they talked about what the program was about. Great. Great. Highway Cleanup is our next, next one. Group, yeah. I Highway know. Cleanup, I and see that's, that. that's every, I think it's every third Saturday, come rain or shine. Wow. So. Highway Cleanup. Uh, yes. Highway 1, that, that is actually? Well, they've stretched out their area. Yes, it's Highway wow. 1 all the way down from, um, well, I can't remember where, okay. all the way up to Burton. So it's, it's wow. a long it's a stretch. It's a big stretch. It yes. is a big stretch. Yes. <laughs> and the next one is teacher's breakfast. We just okay. got through having a teacher's breakfast not too long ago, but it's the, a couple of days before school starts, and all three of the schools get together, L4, I guess, and, and they're there, and um, we Rotarians go in at very early in the morning and bring, uh, make, breakfast, a scrambled egg breakfast, bacon, oh, wow. and um, fresh fruit, and coffee, and muffins, and everything else. So oh, that, That's a great and it, one. It, the like teachers that. are always so thankful, and, and they've, they say they really look forward to it. And it's our way of thanking them. So yeah, that's, that's, that's a great one. Yeah. Next picture is, well, looks, this, like, looks like party time. <laughs> it is. This is another <laughs> fundraiser, which are one of our local mm -hmm. restaurants allow us to have. They, they're so gracious. Um, every other year at the Sea Chest, and if you've ever been to Cambria and up there, you know, there's a long line waiting to get right. into that restaurant. But they open it to just our, uh, not just our club, but anyone who buys a ticket to go. So we sell those to other people that we know and who would like to attend. 
and it's a hundred dollar donation and half of that comes back to our club so right. they're very generous and and it's just anything on the menu basically and they're served beautifully and it, it's 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 a wonderful thing that our local restaurant is doing for yeah, us. Yeah, we did get to go to that one. You're right. Did you? Excellent, Isn't it wonderful? Excellent. Yeah, good. it was a great food, you great were. venue. Oh, a lot wonderful. of fun. A lot yes, of fun. That's good. And then the next picture you have. Um... Well, this is part of Project Peanut Butter is how I know it. <laughs> <laughs> and it is an amazing project. This is international. And um, Jerry Porter brought it to our attention oh. first. And from his club, he'd heard about a gentleman that had started it. And I am absolutely blown away with how it's set up. They make it self-sustaining. They involve the people in growing the crops necessary, how to administer it, and everything else. It's not a quick fix. It, it's a long term. Mm. And you take literally children that are going to die this, with this peanut butter um, concoction. I don't know what all is in it. Mm -hmm. They don't. They live wow. and they prosper. Wow. So it's amazing. It really is. So our club is so far behind that. I mean, we just... So it's a nutritional uh, yes, project? Yes, it is. It okay. is. And, it, and it's a wonderful one. And um, we support it wholeheartedly. So. Great. Oh, outstanding. And with our money, too. <laughs> and that's a um, country of Sierra Leone? Yes, is it correct? is. It okay. is. I thought yes. I've heard of that one. Yes. Yeah, great event. It really great is project. a wonderful project. Yeah. And then uh, your last picture. Well, it, it's sitting there with two guys with a bunch of bottles of wine. <laughs> but if you look, there's the ocean behind it, mm -hmm. and, and that's beautiful. And this was our major fundraiser, which was, we have it every year, Viva. Mm -hmm. And the year, that, the year before you come on as president, you have to go out and earn your money. And Viva <laughs> is how you do it. So one of the ways, okay. our main one. And at Viva, we were lucky enough to have it at the Hearst warehouse mm. right on the ocean oh, first okay. and only time i don't know if we'll get to go back but it was absolutely beautiful wow. stunning and and it's it's a great fundraiser where our this year is i think november 4th okay and it'll be at the vets hall but they decorate it beautiful and there's just fun things so great Hope more people come. Well, actually, I, I believe I think we have we're a show. sold out. We have a show coming up on that one too, by the way. Oh, good. Yeah, we'll Great. be taking a look at that. Oh, wonderful. Great. Well, thank you for sharing those thank pictures. Thank you. Oh, let's see. I want to get back to you actually and ask you both of you, uh, starting with you there, Joan. What was the highlight of your year? What What was really special, exciting about how you and the club kind of gelled together? Well, one of the things I remember is one of the things that I tried to initiate to get everybody to know each other since we have been a fast-growing group is um, to do baby pictures. So I asked people to bring their baby oh. pictures. <laughs> and our fine master, Rick Lowe, we, we had a presentation and Jim Bell was there, he and his wife. So I had snuck around the back way and gotten a picture of Jim Bell to show as a baby. So his <laughs> wife, Donna, gave it to me, and Martha, who's, I can't remember her last name, but Martha is wonderful. So mm -hmm. she got me the picture, and then we, we did a tease on uh, Rick Lowe that, <laughs> that uh, Jim handled, and then we did our baby pictures. Well, he's looking at, and I heard him whisper to his wife, he leans over and he goes, that baby looks like me. <laughs> so everybody, I can't tell you that's how much good. everybody laughed. And, oh, yeah. And that's just typical. I mean, we that's like, good. it's it's grand to have this group of people that Very are true. so hardworking. And I really can't put my thumb on, there's everything. I, again, the children, one of the things that is my um, last dying swan thing, we're, we're putting out the four-way test in, in um, bronze plaques at okay. each of the, um, schools by the uh, flagpole. That's a great idea. And it, that was suggested to us by the groundskeeper. He had seen that in a, at someplace else, and that just resonated with me. So that's something, and the, and how the whole club is behind all of these okay. wonderful things. Great. So now, how about you, Donna? Tell us a little bit about yours. Your highlight. That you know, that's a tough one. There, every the members worked really hard. Um, I remember starting. We started out with a breakfast pan, you know, the pancake breakfast, mm -hmm. and that was Labor Day. And then we had socials like an enchilada feast, and and then our well, I think a real highlight was a Christmas in Cayucas, and that's when the golf cart was oh, given okay. away based on the raffle tickets. 
Um, people just, well, and we got to open up, we went back out on the, the pier got opened again, as people well know, if they didn't know, the pier has been closed for several years. And uh, so anyway, that's been, that was a real ex positive experience. Great, great. But um, yeah, the people are great. I couldn't ask for it. It's been a great, it's been a great experience for me and the people that I've met, and like Joan here <laughs> with peer True. presidents, that was, I yeah. wouldn't trade the fine people for anything. That's been a great experience. Great. So now okay. both of your now past presidents, how are you use the skills and those connections you had as you move forward. Joan? First, I had to take a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I do run a practice of law, and, and I still have that going. So it took a deep breath, and we have an annual family reunion that I go to camping right down the street from here, Refugio and El Capitan, every year. So this year was exceptionally wonderful. All my family was there. I took a deep breath and just am getting ready to uh, do some other jobs. I know they've asked me in the district, but I said, give me a year. We'll, we'll <laughs> go good, from good there. Because I, I love the people that I've met. I mean, they just line up and, and it's fantastic. I, I would never let Rotary out of my life. It's been a, such a pleasure. Good, good. How about you, Donna? S similar, it, too. It's, it, yeah. it was a relief. At, I'm not, you're not on in all the details on a week-by-week -week basis. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I will stay with Rotary, and, but I'm kind of getting back into other parts of my life, family okay. events, because that, that I d was, didn't quite do as well <laughs> during my year. But it was a great year, and the people, I would say the people are the top. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And my job is, my job now is to support the club and to support the, the new president and the other Very officers. Good. That Very is good. my job. Now one thing unique I found in, in talking to past presidents also is the fact that you get to be so intimate with the members. You get to mm. know and meet mm. them and actually get them on a personal basis that you never <clears throat> get unless you're the president. Mm -hmm. Did you both notice that? Was that something that... I miss it. In fact, I go back to the meetings now and I have had family things that have taken me away from meetings, but when I'm there I miss that as, as hard as it was, and it, it's time consuming, but I just miss being on the inside and knowing what everything is and talking to people. But I do have a definite um, better view of everyone. Great. And, and I and I'm feel very pr privileged well, to know them better. The two of you, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we're actually out of time for this ah. one, but you know, congratulations on a great year. Um, why don't we bring ring both of those All bells right. and we'll sign off here. Mm -hmm. With that, Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we will see you next time. In the meantime, take a look at the clubs that Rotary's doing and the impact that they're making in their communities. With that, thank you very much. We will see you next time.